The communists took control of Romania by means of a rigged election in 1946. A few years later they established a secret police force, the Securitate. It arrested, tortured, imprisoned and executed people suspected of being opponents of the regime. Ioana Voicu Anotsoyu is the daughter of two parents who both resisted the communist takeover. This, this is my first picture in my life here with my mother and I think the last with my mother, with my real mother. It's the it's only picture and I, I ironically is a picture made by the secret police <laughs> who tried 10 years to, 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 to catch my parents and to put in a prison. She died in prison. Uh, I, I, I could saw the records, the medical records. She, she was really very ill. Um, she had a TBC to all the organs and uh, they never put her in a hospital or in a clinic or they, they didn't want to, to, to save her, in fact. This was the reason he died so young, at 35 years old. She really was a young woman. My father was Tomar Nautzoyul. He was an officer in the Royal Army and was discharged in 1946. Um, he was, in fact, the leader of the anti-communist group. Uh, he was condemned to, to death and sh he was shot in a Jilava prison. He was very unhappy uh, of the communist regime, of the changes they uh, made in the everyday life, in the political life, in the social life. The people lose uh, the rights, lose the liberty to speak uh, what uh, they were thought. An estimated 60 to 300,000 people died by execution in the collectivization of farms or in terrible conditions in labor camps and prisons during the communist rule of Romania.